so y'all know. But um, Pete, another another question. What um? How do you think God rewarded Noah the Ark for staying true to Him for 120 years, every single day, devoted to God's mission and actually executing the plan? And um, He gave him reproduction. Reproduction. Yeah. He gave him everything in twos. Remember that. Oh yeah, everything in two. All, all yeah. the animals, everything. Yeah. Right. And remember, he still had his wife and his kids. They were the only people that ever that that lived through that through that craziness. But he, but he was like I said, everything was in two, so everything could could reprocess. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're right. Another thing, if you think, let's say hypothetical, all the prophets. We're talking about um, John. We're talking about um, just all the prophets. Every everybody in in all the stories, everybody in the Bible, mm-hmm. at all different times. If they all came together to a group, what what do you what do you think? I know their their main topic would be Jesus, but how do you think those conversations would be? If Noah the Ark, um, you talk about. See, um, just, just everybody. Really. Hi. Last, last question, Othi. No, you good. If all the prophets were together from different times, we're talking about Noah the Ark. We're talking about Job. We're talking about um, John. All, all of them. If they was all together, what do you, what do you think? Um, those type of minds would, yeah. um. Elaborate on. Yeah. Uh, Even though they're all in heaven right now, they're they're doing uh, exactly what I'm talking about. But physically, I art, what do you think those conversations would be like? Um, I think they will be, uh, first, you know, they will be smart intellectual conversations. But at the same time, I feel like they would talk about uh, how they can save more people, how they can, you know, while they're still here. Because that was their whole goal when they passed. So I feel like when they passed, a lot of that uh, got passed on to the next generation or the next whoever was next, next to tell the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like I said, if that, they're just going to, for me, I feel like they all just get their point across on how important it is to be saved and to give your, you know, your soul to Jesus Christ. That's just my personal opinion. Yeah, that's 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 facts. One more question: If Jesus was standing right here listening to us, and he said, he said, "Thi, you got you got two questions and a minute each to ask me whatever you want before I gotta go back to where I'm where I'm from. What two questions would you ask him? And you'd be given the answer immediately." Uh. Oh, the first one is probably, will I make it to heaven? Will you make it to heaven? Yeah. Second one is, you know, I would probably wouldn't even ask him a question. Honestly, I just, I just tell him thank you for all the things that he done for me. Yeah, that, that's, that's good. All right, what would you say? Two questions. Let's finish it off. Two questions for me. question for you? Yeah, let's, let's just see. Alright. Um, you want me to ask you two questions? Yeah, you can ask me two questions. And it's crazy how we're talking about this because... You want me to ask you anything though? Or just what, what uh, depending to the topic? It de- if you got like three different topics you want to talk about, ask me two questions in any, any field. Alright, well, like I said, this is... Um, Cause they don't know, like this. This is the first time we we chopped it up in a minute. Mm-hmm. Was it a couple weeks, a month? Yeah. And uh, the the most powerfulest thing, the main thing we talked about was God, mm-hmm. Jesus. All right. Um. So, like, do you think? Um. Sorry, I'm trying to think of it. There you go, bro. 
I just want mm -hmm. them to see how how real it is and authentic and I'm human. I'm a yeah. you know. So uh So do you believe that, you know, uh God does does things for re for a reason? Do you believe there's a purpose in what he does? I think God I think God is the only one that look that lives in true intention and um everything is he's a definition of execute your plan because without him there you, you can't even have a plan. Like he everybody on earth, you get the smartest people. They'll be the dumbest in the room around Jesus, around God, because he created everybody mind on earth. And if we're doing amazing things, I can't imagine how much God is doing up in heaven. Mm -hmm. So my answer would be, he's um he's a definition of greatness on all levels, on all aspects, from the physical to the spiritual, and none can compete, none can compare, and none will ever be close to where he is. None will ever exist in his field. He's 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 he created the atmosphere, you know, mm -hmm. so he's outside of it. And tell me, a man, not even a man, a guy that created all the stars that we can't even get to, we'll die trying to get to them. We'll die trying to get to one, and there's trillions and trillions. That's powerful, bro. Hey. Dang, what's up, sis?